Hey everybody, Josh here with uh, Planet Chinchilla. Wanted to just go over a couple basics here. I've had uh, Chili here, the one year old female you'll probably see in the cage, dancing around every now and then throughout this video. Just some of the basics on cleaning the cage. It's actually been a few days um, and this isn't the cage that we intend on keeping her in, but we are in the middle of a move. So um, in about three or four weeks, Hopefully she'll be out of this cage, so I'll be able to demonstrate how to clean a different kind of cage. But uh, for the sake of this video, I want to at least show you guys how easy these little creatures are to care for and just kind of keep up to date. Usually you want to do this every day if you can. Um, it just makes everything a lot easier. As you can tell, it's really not that dirty right now. Her bedding was just changed. Uh, probably two days ago so I don't know if I'm gonna change that yet I'm gonna take a look at it whenever I pull out that slide down there at the bottom and this is just a basic metal cage that you can order you know basically anywhere online for fairly cheap but the metal bottoms and some of those wood shelves being exposed isn't quite my favorite so uh, the plan is to change it out but anyways I'm gonna kind of get going here start cleaning it and I'll kind of go through the steps I'm going through um, I'm a big fan of the shop vac to get a lot of this done. She's not scared of it. She's used to it. So she doesn't go crazy or anything like that when I open it up and start vacuuming it out. So I'll kind of show you how that goes here in a second. Let me go ahead and grab this vacuum here. And that's it that's it for cleaning out the shelves um, those clean up really easy with any quality shop vac that has any kind of suction for whatever reason this ball here that you see um, that's like her toilet I don't know why she does that I haven't I've only had her for about two months so I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of how these little guys behave but she tends to sit in there every single time that she wants to take a poop so it makes it easy to clean up and we'll keep going with it but uh, there's still a few other things that we need to do. Like for instance, I can see that she's decided to poop a little bit here in her food bowl that I use. So I won't do it on video and go upstairs and do a bunch of dishes or anything like that, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and go clean this out, wash it out and give her some fresh food in this bowl here. And then outside of that, you've got her hay that just needs to be refilled. She just gets on top of her little box right here to eat it. Those are super easy. And then the reason you see her dust bath in there, which is probably a little different than how a lot of you do it. Um, for some reason, in the first two months here, I haven't been able to get her to do dust baths, like with my two-year-old, or she still gets pretty frightened by the kid because he's loud, obnoxious, and just tends to act like an idiot when he's around her. Um, so I don't want her to go without having the ability to take one of her dust baths. So until she just gets used to the environment, especially since we're moving again, I want to just let her do it at her own leisure. Um, but I'm also gonna go ahead um, and clean out this bottom. I can tell now that it looks pretty disgusting and I'll show you how easy that is to do as well. <clears throat> Biggest tip I have for you guys is vinegar. Vinegar is your best friend with these. Uh, so I'll clean out this pan. What I do is I vacuum it out with my shot back right here. And then once I'm done, I use vinegar to clean out any of the nasty smell that's remaining or which honestly they don't really smell. And I apologize for the filthy basement too. Again, we're moving. So this entire video probably looks like a train wreck right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up for her.
and that's it. So all you have left is that P residue. Um, the shop backs, again, they suck it up in a matter of about, what was that, 10 seconds, 20 seconds? You put a, buy, you know, have some backup bags ready to go. And then once that one fills up, which honestly, it hasn't filled up yet, and I've been doing this for two months pretty frequently. Um, once that fills up, you can easily um, just put a new bag in it and take the other one to the trash. But I'll go ahead and clean this up here with vinegar real quick for step two. Which I just buy these big jugs, just like that from Costco or any other store. And this needs no effort at all. I mean, put a little bit on the paper towel and everything just literally comes right off of these pins. And this is still, I think, one of the cheaper versions of the pin. Like I said, I got this from the rescue when I got her. So, you know, for a couple extra bucks, it worked out really well since we knew we were gonna be moving. Um, but I could definitely see the appeal in spending a bunch more money on her and getting a nicer cage. This is just the chips you put in the bottom here. So she's not uh, pooping and peeing all over a blank tray. So I'll just put some fresh ones in here for her. And these I order off of Amazon, these are cheap. I mean a bag last year. I think this is my fifth time. So five weeks and it'll probably be gone. I've got this changing and one more out of it. So say a bag of this for six, seven bucks is gonna last you about two months. I mean, in all honesty, these, these guys cost just a couple bucks to own. Live for a long time, she's super friendly. Um, a little bit timid, but when it's just us, she'll let me you know, hold her, pet her, do whatever. Um, they're just kind of scary to have in the beginning. You don't really know what you're doing. They got toothpick little ribs, so if you're scared to pick them up. I probably spent seven hours a day needlessly wasting my time on Google trying to figure out exactly how to do everything with her. Um, that's what actually sparked me to build Planet Chinchilla, which if you guys haven't been to it, that is my blog that kind of takes you through me and Chili and their story on everything we've kind of been through through this learning curve, which has been pretty fun. Um, nothing too crazy, but what you see me doing right here is I'm gonna just wipe down her shelves with a little bit of vinegar as well. I have a little bit of, and you wouldn't believe me because of how filthy this basement is, but a little bit of OCD. So I just like everything to be kind of nice and wiped down for her in here. So not a bunch to where she's gonna go lick it, anything crazy like that. This is just a little block she chews on. Those are also cheap on Amazon. I try to keep her guessing and switch up the spots where I put all her stuff just to keep her, I mean, you wanna keep them active if you can. Um, clearly you wanna get them out of the cage. You wanna interact with them, things like that. But I mean, in a small cage when you got a family and other personal things you got going on, some days, you know, you're only gonna get them out for a few minutes. So you want her to be up, active, doing stuff. She loves these little hay blocks, so I just keep several in there for her to chew on. And you can, again, those come in big bags that you can buy just about anywhere. Um, farming Fleet's good if you have one there yet. And this is the orchard grass hay here. So I'm just gonna put this, and this can make a mess sometimes, not a big deal. I'm just gonna put this right inside her side scoop here and then I just vacuum all around the cage when I'm done so it's kind of a clean inside clean outside get her all taken care of she eats more of the hay than she does pellets pellets she only really eats um, if she's in the mood which is rare she just likes the hay for the most part And what I'm gonna do with this food here that you saw before, I'm gonna just dump it out and give it a real good wipe down and do a little C 
sack I've got over here and also vacuum up the mess that I made. Just give it a good wipe down. No vinegar needed when you wipe that down. Uh, but I'm just going to reef the topper off with some new food here. So this is a big bag of food. Then I order this probiotic stuff here. Um, I'll have to get you guys the label for it. I put it in a little ziploc here to save room, but I just top her off. And I mix that probiotic uh, throughout the food. Just like, a, and she loves it. She digs around her food bowl just to get to that mix. Um, and I'll leave a comment in the description below for you guys so that you can find it. But I just kind of jumble it up. Kind of the make them eat their veggies too. So if she wants to get to it, she's gonna have to go through the pellets. Is my crazy way of explaining it, but it probably does no good and she figures it out. I'm sure she's smarter than me. Uh, there she goes, getting her, getting herself some hay already. And I'll just put her food bowl right back down in here. Move this salt block out of the way for. Put it up there. She'll have to play with it up here. She's got another little hay block here, which I just dropped right on her head. And her dust is still clean, so looks like she maybe has used it once, and I just did that, I think, yesterday. So that still looks good. I do need to top off the water bottle. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use a sink and some water, though, so I don't think that needs much explanation. Again, my OCD, um, I keep two strapped up ready for her here that you can see. So. She only drinks out of this one, but a little bit of a freak. So if I uh, get to a point where I can't get home, I at least know that there's a functioning water bottle with cold ice water, just a drinking water jug like this, just to always make sure she's got everything that she needs. So she's always got her hay, her food, her little blocks. I usually throw a couple little fun sticks in there. I don't know what they're really called, but she loves these too. They're just the Timothy grass powder rods here. So I'll throw every time I clean the cage, I put a couple of those in there for her to, you know, do what she wants with at that point. But that's basically it, guys. That's um, a 10 minute cleaning. And it honestly probably would have taken me about four to five minutes if I uh, wasn't trying to shoot the video while I was doing it. So she's all squared away outside the water. So make sure you guys stop by planetchinchilla.com. That's planetchinchilla. Dot com. I have a blog on there, a bunch of recommendations, products, etc. Um, basically, me and this guy's whole life story going on about how we've figured this out together. So, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.